Yep, it's starting soon. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. To the inferno. Hi there, proxies. Welcome to the Zelda Zone Zero version 1.2 special program. Okay, it's Continuing not a death stream like last time. Continuing from our last update featuring the demolition case that caused quite a stir. The whereabouts of our main suspect. Pearl okay, it is addressing that. Okay. But Post Mr. Z. Yo, we got another talking bang boo. Holy shit. <laughs> and so, today's program is also coming to you from the boundless outer ring. Huh? Who am I? Well, I'm the intelligence broker with the hottest gossip on the scene, Mr. Z. Um, oh, are you gonna be our Albert for this for this game? <laughs> of the Outer Ring play host to this update's new story, the Toward the Inferno. Toward the Speaking Inferno. Speaking of the Outer Ring, I am sure you have all seen the Sons of Caladon, who operate at the fringes of. Oh yeah. They own a powerful logistics company by the name of Leaps and Bounds, which can handle deliveries through hollows. Perhaps a few of you proxies have already run into some of their teams. Yes, we have. Today, we have invited two new friends from the Sons of Caladon to join the program. Let's give a warm welcome to Okay, so they are going to do the V8 Caesar, thing. I, I was afraid they wouldn't do that. Legendary biker gang and Bernice, the master mixologist Bernice. from the Okay, Outer that's how you say it. Okay. But, uh, they're still not here. They're late, <laughs> as expected. Man, I have invested a lot into this program. Bummer. Looks like it's all up to me to tell you about the new content in this version. So, here we are, I guess. Let's get things started. Oh. First up is... Play the trail! Is this the place? <laughs> hey, oh my god. <laughs> where's Mr. Z? Oh, don't tell me he's late. <laughs> I'm over here. Huh? He's dead. Oh, He's good, fucking dead. Well, you two are a little late, and I don't remember your interest being like that in the script. Hey, our way is much cooler. Yeah, we brought All a big right, ass truck and everything. That's why you're the most <laughs> badass biker gang mean leaders in logistics in the outer ring. Why don't we say hi to the proxies now? Hey there, I'm Caesar. Happy to be on the show today. Hey, proxies, I'm Bernice. Together also, yeah, I've heard people say that Bernice's VA might be Risa May, you know, Kokomi and Lynx. <laughs> I think it might Thanks be, actually. Up on time, you two. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Play the trailer. Oh, you oh. here we go. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Is this an abandoned fucking amusement park? <laughs> Yo, wait, is that Billy? I could have sworn that was Billy. There's our girls. <laughs> yeah, the sons of Cali done 90% of them are women. <laughs> oh, that's a new ethereal. Oh, Billy is here. Time for a formal introduction. Yeah. We're the sons of Caledon. Oh, yeah, she has a whole lot of shield and everything. The current boss. Cool. Caesar. Caesar. Did she cut this? Did she kick her sword? I won't budge. Oh my god, she has like, like a whole fucking shield ring. I love her already. Oh yeah, Bernice. Oh my god, yes, she does use a flame the horse. Holy shit, she looks fun though. Ready for a <laughs> oh yeah, I'm getting Bernie's 100%. Warning. God, the design is so cool. A significant increase in ether concentration near Cinderglow Lake has been detected. <laughs> oh. The weak and the worthless have no place in this age. Oh fuck, gang the power of ether. Is that we're getting into a here? Order in this leaderless outer ring. A kingdom completely under my control. Oh shit, what? Is that an ethereal? What? With a fucking bike? I'm supposed to be here. Leave it to me. <laughs> oh my god, that wink. <laughs> oh shit. Is that a... Is that a bamboo? <gasps> Holy shit, what are you? The fuck? <laughs> oh, the inferno. 
Holy Whoa, shit, those interior that designs look sick. It appears yeah, I was gonna say Ghost Rider. Of the outer ring actually has an underground Holy side shit, to it. that. And when it comes to is this that, place, that's an interior, right? I, th I thought that was, that was Could like. Could please give the proxy oh, some man. insight here? They look so cool. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Leave it to me. The outer ring is what people call this underdeveloped. I was gonna say, is that like a what? Is that armor or, or is that like an ethereal? It's no, it must be an ethereal, right? And Fauna's quarters, and closer to the central wilderness. What you don't get to see inside the city. It's about and time we had some killer boss designs in this game. City, it's blessed with a unique local asset. Oil. Oh, so That's it's America. Right. This was the fuel resource used during the old civilization. In the outer ring, people don't use ether. Dude. Anymore, also, yeah, instead, Billy being there. Uh, people have said themselves. to me that Billy also might be an ex Santa Calidan member. After the old capital I, I'm, be fell, I'm beginning to believe that theory might be fresh. true. Escape from old memories. Yo, those are girls. And of course, some just want to hide from PubSec. Oh, it's yep. not like in the city. The vast outer ring has people peppered around. And America, yeah, about. get that oil. So it's up to the biker yeah. gangs to get supplies to the locals. Biker gangs are highly trusted in the outer Whoa. ring. So they've also got the best intel around. If you want to oh, survive yeah, this out guy. here, I think I saw him around the city a few times. Nice. Sounds to Is me he gonna like be playable too? The ultimate messengers in the outer ring. Of course. Yeah, and people did the say that gangs, the uh, symbol on Billy's jacket is the Santa Calidon one. Yeah. Wait, we are? Well, yeah. nevertheless, <laughs> your logistics company, Leaps and Bounds, has certainly made a name for itself in the outer ring. After all, not everyone can handle the job of transporting supplies through high-risk hollows. Yep. If you want a pro job done, then just leave it up to the pros. Yep. And as you might have guessed, we're going oh, to shoot. Biker Gang for a reason. We all ride Did we get the ride in one? <laughs> in this version's adventure, proxies will also get to experience oh, shit. the thrill and joy oh, of Oh, yo, racing the game! Let's go! Vroom, vroom. That's actually kind of hype. I'm not gonna lie. Come race with us in the outer ring. Cool. And, and the baddest Biker Gang around. Yo, we, we fast and furious in this bitch. Our biggest baddie is the young leader of the Sons of Caledon, Caesar. <laughs> See, even the game hey, knows she's a baddie. <laughs> you're talking fame? You're clearly the real star here. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just your average mixed. Oh my god, these animations already! I, I'm already in love. <laughs> operation. As for what kinds of drinks for sells? Well, we're not really at liberty to say right now. But it's safe to say that her drinks are famous throughout the Outer Ring. <laughs> Do I even want to know what's in that drink? There's Piper and Lucy, who you've already met. Yeah. They're members of the gang too. That's right. Piper is the best truck driver around these parts. And Lucy, <laughs> she's our top supervisor. Speaking of Lucy, she's always so competitive with Caesar for some reason. If you come oh, to shit. the outer ring proxies. You'll probably catch those two squaring off. I'm well, getting some older sister, younger sister vibes from those two. <laughs> sunglasses. Don't play referee uh. and try not to get caught in the crossfire. Yeah, who's the dude in the sunglasses? Crossfire. Don't listen to Lighter's nonsense. Lighter. Oh, Speaking right, that's Lighter, his name. You'll be meeting him too. He'll be facing a pretty tough opponent this time around. Now that oh shit, he it, might be. The sons of Caledon must have some serious competition in the outer. Yeah, right? Oh yeah, I think I have met Lighter in game, sure. like when Even he was like all around the, the city a few times. We're not exactly all on the same team. Uh -oh. Biker gangs tend that to is a bamboo. Well, holy shit! Or an orangutan, I mean. Take the Vanquisher, holy shit. for example. They're our biggest oh, rivals. Oh god, furry, furry female. Holy shit. To settle with them. <laughs> oh yeah, time to settle the score. But for the sake of the current overlord, Oh god, overlord, we got a furry Pompeii. tiger here. <laughs> Now's not the time. Speaking of Pompey, R34 artists do your work. Been they haven't seen him for Don't a actually. I, I'd rather not see that. Nobody knows what he's been up to. <laughs> One day, he's gonna have to give up his position as overlord. Yeah, she was going full overlord, sniffer huh? there. <laughs> Sounds pretty badass. You know it. And it's not the kind of title that just anyone in the outer ring can have. The oil industry runs the old oil field out here, and the whole shebang relies on support from the motor league. I want to see his full model. I want to see how intimidating this guy is. As the head of the motor league, the overlord wields their power to. Uh, wields their power to. Yeah. What was it again? Hey, didn't Lucy tell you to memorize all those lines like a thousand times before coming here? <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, the Overlord wields the power to designate transport routes as the boss of the Motor League. 
which is a huge boon. It's like super powerful, like a mixologist with a whole barrel of pure undiluted nitro fuel. Yup, since every biker wants to be the overlord, we had to find a way to see who's the winner. So we came up with the Cross Hollow Motor Race. The Tour d'Inferno. The Tour d'Inferno. Sounds like we can expect to see some real cutthroat and underhanded action. What do you mean, cutthroat and underhanded? I can underhanded? hear the Kokomi? Yeah, I, I can too. Loses, That's definitely Risame. I heard there's a famous legend about the Tour d'Inferno in the Outer Ring. So, Whoa. <laughs> I have a feeling what an, what an art. As Holy shit. As they sound. Is that supposed to be Vernus? Caesar Holy and crap, Bernice I didn't realize how stacked she was. <laughs> ...to prepare for the Tour d'Inferno. And since I am an intelligence broker, I've kept dossiers on you two for quite a while now. Oh, uh, yeah? Let's see what it says about me. Oh, come on, don't leave us hanging! Show us. Huh? I guess this is the part where they go over the kits. Caesar King, the most yep. badass rider in the outer ring. Jennifer Sunbell. Okay, never heard of her before. But she sounds pretty good at Caesar. Yep, physical defense. When the enemy launches an attack, if Caesar successfully blocks it with her oh, shield. Oh, her skills are parry. Yes. Allowing her to negate the damage and immediately follow up with the next move of a special attack or EX special attack. Cool. When she triggers a perfect block, defensive assist, or meets other certain requirements, she applies debuffs to surrounding enemies. Oh. Ah. her squad members to deal more damage to them. So Play she's a right? shield and debuffer. And it can be a okay. slick way to attack and debuff at the same time. Cool. That's correct. <laughs> when Caesar is in combat, she can protect on-field squad members and boost their anti-interrupt level by providing oh. a shield with her EX special what? attack, chain attack, So you and just ultimate. don't get ragdolled. Launching her ult, Caesar swings her shield and charges Savage into smash. the battlefield in the Overlord's place. Holy shit, that looks OP, actually. Oh my goodness. Yep. That's that a, be a fucking insane agent. AoE. That's because it's what I'm Hello? I still know how to make the pain rain. Okay. Caesar she might be defense, but I might want to make her main DPS. Twice as hard. <laughs> Only her 100%. Can't be a leader if you don't protect your team. Absolutely. Jeez. Now let's take a look at Miss Bernice's files. Miss Bernice. Oh yeah. Is an Show us that. Yep, Risa May, That's for sure. Who fights with jewel flamethrowers. <laughs> what a career she has in Hoyo. Mixer and Shaker are simply For priestess too healer. To when in combat, Bernice <laughs> two, two, alternates between her two flamethrowers. Wildlife explorer. Mixer and Shaker <laughs> to fire continuously. Two flamethrower expert. using her nimbo moves to dodge enemy attacks. If needed, Miss Bernice can also concentrate oh my God, her firepower power just... to unleash blazing Over. hot flames from both flamethrowers in a short burst, dealing massive damage and inflicting fire anomaly buildup. Her place all seems absolutely that when fucking Bernice builds up busted. Heat, she enters the nitro fuel cocktail state. Oh God! In this state, when a teammate's attack hits an enemy, it triggers afterburn, dealing oh. an extra instance of oh, fire damage. Also, they explode when you in hit battle, them. Okay. Bernice can use her EX special attack to quickly burn enemies while stacking up. Heat so that's her entrance animation? Oh my goodness. Even if you switch to another agent, Forgive me, Lord, because I'm like about to sim. She can... Wait. Fire anomaly build up on enemies. So you use her burst and she just stays up there while you use the other characters? Ult, jumping into the air and raining down a storm of flames Oh, on that is actually... Hey, hey. Someone's here to challenge She you? seems so ah. fun to play. <laughs> oh, I want them both on scene. She's still a Please let nature on my ZZ luck continue on sure to get them both. Before she joined the sons of Caledon, there was a time when Miss Bernice worked alone. Now that I come to think of it, I've always felt like Bernice brings so much energy to everyone around her. Carefree and unrestrained, like she could burn away all your troubles in one go. With her flamethrowers, Bernice yeah, committing war crimes. <laughs> <laughs> as long as she never whips you up a meal with Mixer and Shaker. <laughs> If you're feeling yeah, down, honestly, that flamethrower place that looks super special. fun. <laughs> you will also go on an adventure oh, with Bernice in the outer ring during oh, which she has her own agent story. Oh my god, optimistic side and deepen your friendship. Good lord, Bernice has also prepared <laughs> okay, a okay. Horny versus you, back at it again. To you to find out what it is. As for Caesar, <laughs> oh she's my the god. kind of person who just naturally oozes leadership vibes. That's right, Caesar's pretty reliable 95% of the time. Whenever there's an argument, mm. she always knows how to get people to come around. What about the other 5%? Around, you mean violently? <laughs> and what about that last 5%? Yeah, what about... Yeah, if you got <laughs> fragile stuff that you treasure, like expensive skincare products, you better keep it out of Caesar's reach. No wonder Lucy roasts you every chance she gets. Oh you boy. totally deserve it. And every good roast has to burn! 
<laughs> Looks like my Jesus right here, by the way. <laughs> get along pretty well. <laughs> of course. But while we're discussing a couple of Sons of Caledon members, let's not forget about our comrade in arms. Red Marcus. Oh, we're getting ah, a new bang boo. Right. As a member of the oh, Sons shoot. of Caledon, Oh my gosh, he has a whole Marcus motorcycle wheel. Also, let me um move my uh, move him up here just so attack, you guys can see Burnus. the enemy on a spike, steamrolling them and triggering a powerful explosion. Okay, so well, they have their own dedicated bang boo for this faction. Already, but now we're finally nice. at my favorite <laughs> part. In version 1.2, proxies will have a chance to recruit Caesar and Bernice as their agents from the oh, yep, shows the banners. Amber Crown actually, let me put them down here, actually. Uh... To burn. In the first half of this version signal search, proxies will be able okay, to yep, obtain of course, the limited her, uh, rank agent Caesar w -Engine and, and S-Rank W-Engine Tusks of Fury. Both will be available in their respective channels. Who's a four star's gonna be though? To working with you, I guess it will rely in due time. <laughs> Miss Bernice will be making her appearance in her own yep. signal search. Limited She's the first one a second, Bernice pretty much. As rank W engine, Flame Maker Shaker await you. Yeah, yeah! Time to show off your power move! <laughs> of course. And as mentioned earlier, Red Marcus yep. will also be joining us in the new In the version. Bang Boo collection, right. who you can pull for. I think it's about time for us to show the redemption. Yeah, it seems like he's going to be Nazis? the only S-rank defense character for now. A token of our appreciation. Until Just they release a new one, of course. To it before it expires. <laughs> All right, redemption codes. Yes. Toward the Inferno. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Like, <laughs> not too bad to remember. Toward the Inferno, claim it. Apart from the exciting main storyline, there will also be many fun events that you won't want to miss in version 1.2. It all started in a diner in the outer ring. Oh. Okay, well, here's the main Isn't events. This Blazewood? That's right. During the Overlord's Feast event, proxies will take on a commission from the Oh, you got to free Lucy Blazewood from this event. And revamp an old diner. Okay. Working as staff, you'll handle everything from serving Whoa, that NPC to looks pretty. in the kitchen. While running the diner, proxies will learn a lot of interesting stuff about the Outer Ring, including some fun stories about the agents from the Sons oh. of Caledon. Also, <laughs> as a like reward, the proxies will events. get to contract A rank agent yeah, look at this Lucy. NPC. <laughs> now it's your and also turn, get free proxy. Lucy as well. Nice. Brace yourselves for some classic Lady Lucy stuff. Yeah, sound like Diner Dash. Next up, a new mini game called Bizarre Ooh. Brigade will be available at. Asha's Arcade. As far as I know, oh, it's an players arcade take event. on the role of okay. a little traveler in the game and fight off enemies with the friends you meet along the way. Oh That's my god, right. it's like, players like the Binding of Isaac. Of random items during the different exploration stages, which will have a huge impact oh, or, on your fighting and style and like Hades and ability as well. to survive. Cool. Ooh, sounds Ooh. like there'll be something new every time you play the game. It's also worth Actually, mentioning this actually that seems like a more fun polychromes by like, completing yeah, more defend, of an arcade game Foxies up by alley. will also be able to unlock more new characters in the minigame. Additionally, in the event Roaming the Aether, proxies will receive a vintage computer terminal from the old civilization that the cunning hare salvaged from Hollow Zero. Okay. Nicole reckons there's some super important info stashed inside. Nicole's mm. gifts always keep me on my toes. <laughs> I wonder what that info could be. Yeah, who knows? It will be up to the proxy. Okay, I guess we'll have to, to see out. more of this event now, to you. Let's switch things up <laughs> and head back to <laughs> that new looks like Bird, some fun and casual activities. Uh? There will be hidden puzzles at the newsstand for you to discover. Oh, the doggy has an event for you us. You heard her right, proxies. You'll be able to join the Redo Tours puzzle event at the newsstand and unlock different puzzles, which depicts some interesting oh, stories literally a about puzzle. New <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, kinda... And you'll also be able to okay. earn polychromes and name cards as rewards for completing the event. Speaking of nice. which, one for one convenience store is leading the way in setting up a neighborhood night market, right? Oh yeah. Looks like I'm not the only one with an inside scoop. You know it. Anyway, Shaw will work with proxies to bring this market together. Oh. If you manage to <laughs> the Lima the event tasks, is back, guys. Then there will be some fantastic rewards to thank you for helping out. Ooh. It seems some similar to Lima one. Also added a new series of combat commissions in version 1.2. So oh, be sure okay. to check those oh, out. Oh, okay. Where you get to fight these guys? There will be some new challenges winning in Notorious Hunt and expert fucking Inferno Rider again. Oh, also in Shadow version. Jane. Okay. And that's not all. We also have new drive oh, new relics, okay. Chaos Jazz Ooh. and Protopunk. 
proxies can obtain them from new stages in I'm going to guess the bottom ones for the provide proxies with the better like experience. Anomaly. Okay. Version 1.2 will have a limited time event where you can obtain double the drops. Ooh. So you should be able to get your hands on the materials oh, you need double, in no time. Double routine cleanup Don't too? Forget, we've also got other events lined up. And another shield defense? Oh my god, we're getting so much content cool. in this. I heard there'll be some fun new game modes in Ambush version 1.2. That's right. I wonder what's going to be different about this one. Oh my god, training course another will thing? Available in version 1.2. This mode offers four different courses where you can get a taste of what it's like to be a hollow investigator oh. and learn some basic and practical knowledge about hollow exploration. So it's kind of like a very much expanded tutorial. To different factions, and you will even get nice, to actually. agents you don't own yet to take on formidable enemies. And there's more. After unlocking the tactical course, you can assign your agents to undergo continuous tactical exercises in simulated hollow environments, earning experience along the way. Oh wait. Yep. Sounds neato burrito. Wait. Now, is that, even is this like expedition agents can keep up with the team's progress. Oh, they Meanwhile, what? There are also they can just farm XP on zero. their own? We have already lowered the requirements for unlocking Withering Garden in version 1.1. Now, there are no Bullets more Withering Garden? Oh, Proxies wait. Can unlock it by completing the prerequisites. There's going to be an enhanced Withering Garden? Oh my god, there's so much permanent content. Holy shit. <laughs> This mode allows you to dive straight into combat and rack up your weekly investigation points without having to explore the TV board. Oh, After okay. Each fight, you'll earn a Rizonium surprise box with several Rizonia of the same type. For those who love a challenge, you can choose different so modifiers it's just like, to crank up the Okay, difficulty. I see. Just a heads up, you'll earn extra investigation points for doing so. And we have added this feature to exploration mode as well. Cool. Okay, so it's kind of like the, 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 the current Hollow the within the Garden, rewards. but without any of the TV segments. The experience you're looking for and nice. <sighs> it's, yeah, it's kind of like their virgin universe, it seems. After the update, <laughs> yep, can and your free ten bull, baby. Ten encrypted master tapes and ten boupons. And awesome. uh, ten free boupon bulls. Let's go. I heard Mr. Z's got some exclusive intel up his sleeve. Always got to do this. About some game optimizations that you proxies have been discussing lately. Oh, quality so, of life. Uh, fill us in with all the deets, please, Mr. Z. Oh, wait, this is the update First, where let's take a we should be able to like free roam as uh, our HDD characters, monitor, right? right? Commonly known as TV mode. Now, for proxies who have already completed and met certain criteria for commissions that include TV mode gameplay, Fairy will help you retrieve any unclaimed observation data oh. and rewards from previous attempts if you're willing to give her some time. In other words, you only need to explore the board once to collect all the rewards. Okay, the in addition, okay. We have optimized and the Fairy will just get the rest for you. That's everything nice, actually. Smoother. Just so you don't have to do the whole thing all over again. Faster, and you'll be able to skip certain parts. We've also adjusted the interactions for some common events, cutting down on the number of close-up scenes. Nice! Overall, there are many improvements to the TV board experience in the new version, and you'll definitely notice the difference. Wow, a lot of QL stuff in this. Meanwhile, Holy we're shit, also there's more? A backup battery charge function in the new update. Oh yes, Over people. overflow resin, Even let's if go! You can't log in, You'll still keep building up battery charge, and when you finally have some free time, now the only game that hasn't done this yet is Genshin. That you've collected. Precisely. Come on, Next get on that chat already. I've been looking forward to for quite some time. Mm-hmm. Tell it to my face. We have updated the squad configuration system. To let oh yes, presets. And Fuck yes. Preset squads. You can jump straight into combat with your preset squad right from yes, the deployment interface. Yes, thank you. On top of that, you can also decide whether or not to bring a bamboo into battle. At oh, the same time, okay. we have also introduced a new feature to quickly switch squads in Oh, thank defense. you. I was literally Ooh, saying that the last so time the I tried experience this. experience is getting smoother and smoother. <laughs> thank yeah. you, a quick swap button. You don't need to manually change squads every time. Mm-hmm. I've been looking forward to this update for a while. Geez, but... so many... I remember so much stuff in this update. I'm so excited for this, honestly. Yeah, we ZZ fans are eating good. Oh, so, wait. How's that all coming along? Can we? In version 1.2, yes. proxies will get to explore new Eridu from the perspective of Caesar yeah. and Bernice. But that's not all. You'll also be able to switch freely between Wise and Bell. Oh, so okay, so I can... Jumps. You really can have it all. And even cool, though it won't okay. be in the upcoming update, so can you even play some protagonists you did not choose? Proxies will be able to explore the city freely as oh, any thank one of you, your thank God. Also, Best change right here. Complete a certain amount of the main Just skip straight to a time period. Version 1.2, you'll be able to advance the clock as you wish. 
No longer will proxies have to worry about getting stuck due to time during a quest. And Thank you. And we've got you. even more <laughs> ideas up our sleeves that are all coming along nicely. All right. Looks like today's special program. I hate is having to skip to today just to like try but and advance my next uh, companions. Have... Finally. Wait, there's more? What? More? You betcha. We've How many things have you got for us? Oh my god, we are Let's getting get spoiled in this patch, boys. Time to lose yourselves to these sick beats. Oh, music? Yo, okay. How okay. is everyone doing? Oh, is that the end? Yep, that's the end. They just wanted to show us music at the end. Honestly? Yeah, bravo, Oyo. Bra fucking bo. Oh man, this update looks so, so good. That's the end of the 1.2 special program. We got so much this update, it's not even... It's not even funny. <laughs> what? So much, like, permanent content being added, and so much QLs changes, and also... Yeah, the main story overall with, like, the Outer Ring looks fucking hype. The enemy designs especially look sick. I... God, especially the one on the motorbike, and also the, uh... The one with... That looks like it has a giant armor. Oh my god, I, I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be magnificent. The, yeah, the ZZZ devs are absolutely the best. But okay, boys, that is going to end things off for today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching, and hope to see you guys again in the next stream we do of Zenless. But okay, boys, it's time for me to go now, fellas. See ya!